welcome. You stand amidst the circle of... <sighs> Another distraction. Yes? Don't be sad, horse friend. Gordon will come home soon. Ah, this is the life, yes? The sun beating on your shirtless fur. The sweet smell of moon sugar cane wafting through your whiskers. It doesn't get any better than this, Walker. Everything would be perfect if it weren't for those meddling pests. Adam Nargo prefers to remain positive, so he thinks of it as more of a pest opportunity. <laughs> he has a name, friend. His name is Gordon the Guar. Thanks for your help getting rid of the wasps in the fields and finding my lost Guar. <laughs> if Adam Nargo's horse wasn't so sad, and knew how to talk, he would thank you too. He's sad about Gordon, but he's usually a happy horse. The Imper- Adam Nargo doesn't give them much thought. We've been sharing Grimmin with them for a very long time, and we'll kill them with fire! Adam Nargo is serious, Walker. He'll- because he looks like a- Did you come to share this lizard with Zanzag? You can have the neck. Maybe a hind leg if you're lucky. Of course! You never met a sense rat before? Or you just never bothered talking to one? Everything that moves belongs to Zanzag. Especially when he's hungry. How did you know that Zanzag is uncomfortable eating things with first names? Zanzak will find his dinner somewhere else. Now that you mention it, he does look like a Gordon.
You got rid of the wasps and you found Gordon. Ah, Sansag. We established this farm together. But things got strange when Hadan Nargo bought his horse. I think he was jealous. But... Light it! Ah, yes. The one who approaches might help us with your artifacts. Did the spirit send you to help Kisaravi? What? My apologies. Kisaravi hoped you heard the spirit too. The spirit protects Akaviri relics in the tomb of the serpent. I try to be a gentle orc and help a lady in need. There's a Khajiit digging through the rubble of an old Akaviri tomb just up the trail. You'd think... You 
was already lost. at my feet. What hope do you have? Feel free to inspect it. Huh? 
Never the voice of reason speaks. Ah, Vestige. How good of you to attend me. As I was saying to Lord Goresh Ri and Kamira, competent help remains at a premium in this remote province, which is why I sent for you. We must so much better than flock or herd, don't you think? The Kajiti Defense Force isn't prepared to deal with a threat as big as dragons, especially since they were fighting to liberate Rimmon when the huge beasts arrived. Stay focused. We'll deal with that later. Right now, we must assist the Defence Force. Rendezvous with us at their command post. On your way, however, I have another task for you. I, I was formulating a spell to track the dragons when I noticed several surges of arcane energy not far from here. They reminded me of an old acquaintance. Has a way with portals. If it is him, I want you to secure his help against the dragons. As you can imagine, the companions were none too pleased with me after everything that transpired. I've made no effort to reach out to the survivors, nor they to me. It's just... Around. Someone needed to check on Cyrodiil and try to hold the pieces together. With the central government disbanded and the Imperial City a smoking ruin, any semblance of order has gone the way of the Dwemer. Between the imbecilic Three Banners War and the constant rise and fall of some new warlord or bandit chief, there was more to deal with than even I imagined. Without a legion to command, my options were severely limited. The best I could manage was to liberate a few small villages and lead the refugees to a safe haven. You think so, Vestige? Perhaps you don't know me half as well as you think. I am Imperial through and through, never forget that. My How should I put this so that you fully understand? None of your business. The Amulet of Kings represents the highest office in the Empire, and I refuse to allow it to become lost or stolen again. I expect nothing but your continued assistance, Vestige. However, I concede that your aid in recovering the relic was vital, so I assure you that it is perfectly safe. Safer than it has ever been. All right, all right. No need to pester. Once you started your merry parade of divinely inspired destruction, I formed a contingency. In case you failed, we would need the amulet to try again with another would-be hero. Good thing you didn't fail. Safer than it was. You think I'd do what Sai Sahan did and just bring it right back to Sankra Tor? Please. Whatever you think of me, you should at least know I'm not stupid. Another outsider comes to elsewhere, as if we did not have enough problems between Abner Tarn and the dragons. Ah, do not mind me. Great beasts rampaging through my homeland tends to put me in a foul mood. I am Kamira. I assist the Speaker of the Main and serve as his agent. With both the Usurper Queen and the dragons ravaging Northern elsewhere, there is much for me to do. To what can I tell you that you cannot guess? That these fearsome creatures of legend have returned to threaten elsewhere? That much is obvious. Damn it. This is all Abner Tharn's fault. 
Dark Moons, take him. Ah, that arrogant Imperial. For an advisor to emperors and a renowned battle mage, he demonstrates a disturbing lack of caution. It was Abner Tarn who entered the halls of Colossus and released the dragons. His throne. What do my beliefs matter? Dragons have come to elsewhere, destroying everything I hold dear. As the moon singers say, the path to oblivion is paved in good intentions. You're responding to Abnur Tharn's letter, one of the promising adventurers. I hope you can help us. But where are my manners? Welcome to Riverhold and the province of Northern Elsewhere, also known as Anequina. I am the Speaker of the Main, a position in which I've served faithfully for many years. I represent our spiritual leader, the Main. A few years ago, Abnor Tharn's half-sister, Euraxia, conquered Rimen and parts of Northern Elsewhere. We recently liberated Riverhold and were about to do the same for Rimen when the dragons appeared. It's no one Abnor Tharn asked. Just as he once served as advisor to emperors, he has agreed to help me formulate strategies and tactics for use against the dragons. It is the least he can do, since he had a hand in setting the horrid beasts loose. No, Azazi. Never touch a Daedric monster, especially a dead one. Don't be such a nervous nature. The dead can't hurt us. But where do you think it came from? Hmm, it stinks of cold harbor. Perhaps one of the Usurper Queen's lackeys summoned it, yes? Hmm, what a stench. That's the stink of cold harbor, Walker. How such a fearsome and dangerous creature ended up dead beneath our favorite rocky outcropping, this one does not wish to speculate. Only a... Don't touch the dead thing, they do not tell me. Like I don't know how to handle a Daedric corpse. I wonder what killed it, though. Maybe it ran afoul of a dragon. No good can come of
I saw you, traveler. Why do all outsiders insist on acting suspiciously? Oh, do not play innocent with me, stranger. You must be working with that pale, gaunt fool with the ridiculous mustache. Why else would you be visiting the same places that he did, unless... Euraxia, the hated Imperial who conquered Rimen and falsely claimed to be its queen. Do not feign ignorance, outsider. I had just about enough of that when I talked to the man with the pot on his head. Ugh, you sound as confused as he was. Kept talking to his pet lizard bird like he expected it to answer. Uh, the last I saw, he headed east. I suppose you'll find him in that direction, and south of Riverhold. Just stop skulking around. Go, go! Uncanny! It looks just like that lovely place I dreamed of. Her. Eventually. Ah, hello there. Good to see you again, old chum. Have you come to pay your respects too? It was important. I have no idea. I suppose it must be. I saw it in a dream, after all. Or was it a vision? I get those two confused. Anyway, I felt a sort of pull and stepped through it all, and then pish posh, honors a bantam gra, and here I am. Fun, you say, the grumpy battle mage. How is the old boy? The surges were probably just me. My portal took a few tries before we honed in on this exact location. Now, why? Well, it took a few tries to find the exact spot I saw in my dream. A number of frightfully rude lads and lasses occupied the first location I visited, demanded my surrender. Have you even imagined such a thing? Naturally, I gave them the old heave ho. Foul smelling, I'll have you know, that was my lunch. I can't believe I lost it. And if by bantam why you mean my faithful steed, Honor, well, he's always getting into my foodstuffs, has the appetite of a mammoth and the cunning of a fox, that one. Dispatch? Why would I do such a terrible thing? I adore those adorable pudge buckets. Alas, Scroop was standing a little too close when I opened my portal. Poor thing fell in and took a nasty spill. When the neck bone snaps, it makes an awful sound. Were the words the same for you? Sometimes written language likes to confuse me. Words change and switch places. Very annoying. Anyway, the gravestone mentions the betrayer. Sounds like a dastardly chap. Wonder if I ever met him. I don't have the slightest idea. The words inscribed upon it conjure up all kinds of questions, though. Who are dragons? I haven't. Battle the dragons in swoop. You know, I, I, I can't remember, but I'm certain I fought one or two in my day. I was a gallant knight, after all. Did you hear that, my trusty fellow? Huh? 
Head down. I'll deal with this. Oh, now you show up. Left me to deal with a dragon all by myself. It's a good thing I'm Abnathan and not, well, some lesser mage. I discouraged it. But not before it laid waste to most of the camp. We arrived to find the outpost being overrun by undead. Then the dragon attacked. I did what I could. I fear it wasn't enough. The betrayer? Hmm. There's a betrayer mentioned in the legends of Kunzari. It seems those stories continue to hound me. No matter. We can deal with that later. Kunzari, era of the Marithic era. Most of the legends are unbelievable, though the Khajiiti moon singers guard the secret history. Their tales led me to the halls of Colossus. But that doesn't surprise me. Cadwell and Strange go together like hot bread and butter. I need to recover my strength. Driving off that dragon took a lot out of me. Why don't you go help Chimera while I keep watch in case the great beast returns? Damn us for arriving too late. I did not expect to find our militia under assault by a horde of undead. And then the dragon. Oh, it tangles the tail of Walker, it truly does. The militia was already depleted from the fight to liberate Riverhold, but we were determined to press on toward Rimen. Between the undead and the dragon, though, we can barely hold this portion of the outpost. Retreat is not an option. Not yet. Our resistance to Euraxia's rule requires more than just soldiers. There are intelligence reports, safe house locations, lists of supporters, documents. They are vital to our efforts to free Rimen from Euraxia's rule. And if her forces acquire them, those who help us will be exposed. Recover.